Hi, this is Russell Stanner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Today we're going to look at how you can use Zoom to record yourself giving a presentation or in fact record yourself doing anything. Anything that you open up onto your screen you can record. This is using Zoom in a completely different way. You can do, use, do it using the free account. You don't need to connect to anyone. We're simply going to use the fact that Zoom has a recorder in it that allows you to record yourself doing a presentation. It even compresses it for you, and then you can upload and share it wherever you want. I'm going to take you through the process. You only need the free account to do this. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos, there's a special section on Zoom, and if you want to sign up to the newsletter and to the YouTube channel, you can also do that from here. Right, let's get started. Just a tip before you start, I always come down and make sure that the recording, the meeting automatically is off because I don't want to be recording the whole meeting. I only want to record the bit where I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation. So make sure you click on that button. Okay, that's in your settings just before you start your meeting. And then you click on your meeting. It's going to open up Zoom for you. Don't forget, you're not going to connect with anyone. You're just using the fact that Zoom has a recording facility. It's opened me onto the screen. I'm going to turn off the video. I don't want to be on this one. And I'm going to simply... Uh, First of all, open up the PowerPoint presentation that I want to record. So a useful thing to understand is you need to exit full screen, okay, and learn to make sure that you understand once you've exit full screen, and then what you want to do is click on this one here because it will it will kind of maximize the screen. That look what happens when you minimize. Just make sure you're aware of how Zoom looks when it's minimized and then how you can maximize it. Because what I want you to do is I want you to minimize the screen and now in the background, I want you to, don't forget that will still be open, I want you to find your PowerPoint slide. So I'm gonna click here and open up the PowerPoint slides that I'm gonna present. So now I've got them on the screen, now I need to maximize again. So we've got the PowerPoint slides open or open the PowerPoint slides before you even start to do your um, recording, okay? So before you even turn on Zoom. So have your PowerPoint slides ready, then click on screen share, click on the PowerPoint slides and click on share. They're gonna open onto the screen. Now you're not recording yet. I'm gonna show you in a minute how you do that. So what you need to do is make sure you're back on the first slide, start your PowerPoint, Roll your mouse up to the top here, roll over here, come over to more, and you want to click on this button here, record on this computer. Now, as soon as you click on that button, you're going to start your recording. So I'm going to start. Hello, my name is Russell Stannard, and today I'm going to do a presentation to you about how you move a face-to-face -face course to an online course. What we're going to look at, first of all, is some examples, blah de blah de blah Now, what do I do if I want to stop? Well, what about if I want to pause? Well, you can do that easy. You can roll up to the top, and you can click on more, and you can pause the recording. So now, now I'm not recording at all. But if you notice, and I just want to show you this, come up again to the top there, notice that we have also got these keys here, out P, okay, and out R. So... I use these a lot. So if I press without even using, clicking on the button, now if I press Alt P, it will begin recording again. Alt P. That pauses to stop the pause. Now I'm recording again, blah, 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 blah. Let's imagine I want to pause again. So I press Alt P and it pauses it again. And I want to start again. I press Alt P again and it unpauses it. So pour the pause button, you can either do it from the top here by clicking here and just going to Alt P or you can just click uh, on the button here and do it and that will resume your recording. Now, what about when you want to stop your recording? Well, once you've found it finished, just come to the top, go to that, and this time you're gonna click on stop recording. Or you can actually click on Alt R. Now, I normally, when I'm gonna stop the recording, just psychologically, I always come up to the dot, top and click on that button. Recording is done. Now you need to practice this a few times. That is it, your recording is done. Now you might be saying to me, yeah, Russell, where is the recording then? Well, I'm gonna show you that now. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Now, as soon as I close down this Zoom session, it will immediately begin to compress that recording for me. So what I'm gonna do now is click on End and click on End Meeting for All and let's look at what immediately appears on the screen of my computer. 
and there it is. It is now taking that recording and it's converting it for me into a Zoom file. Now, where can I find that Zoom file? Now, if I come to my computer and I come over to my documents and I click on my documents and I come down, there is an automatically created file or folder, sorry, on your computer called Zoom. Obviously, it's gonna probably be right towards the end. Click on that, you can see I do hundreds of recordings. And if I come down here to today's recording and click here, I can see that that recording has been done. Now, I only did one recording, that is, I did a recording, stopped it, and that was it. I can do multiple recordings, so I might do a recording, stop, that's one, then start another recording and stop, and that's two, and then record another one, three. And that would be zoom zero, the first one would be, the second one would be zoom one, and then the next one would be zoom two. You can always tell, um, because it's always called zoom. You've got these other files, don't worry about these ones. This is the file that you need. It's an MP4 file. Now let's actually look at that file. If we double click on that file, we can actually play that file immediately, and there it is. Hello, my name is Russell Stannard, and today I'm gonna do a presentation to you about how you move now the great thing about that file is you can upload that into Edmodal or into Moodle or into Blackboard immediately. There's nothing else to do. That is the basics. Now I'm going to come back again and go through this in a little bit more detail just to point out a couple of things that when I've done training with teachers they've had problems with. But that is the basic way it works. Now this is a really useful tip that you might want to use. I'm going to click on screen share and I'm going to open up my PowerPoint slide and I'm going to click on the, the top one. Then I'm going to start the PowerPoint presentation. Now I want to record this session, but actually I want to record the session and include myself in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to turn my video on. And then there you are. You can see, now see me on the screen. And I could now position that wherever I wanted it to be. So I might say, right, okay, I want to be here on, on the PowerPoint slides. And now, if I come up now and click over and click on start recording, it's not only going to record the PowerPoint slide, but it's also going to record me because there I am on the screen along with the PowerPoint presentation. So that is an option if you want to include uh, the webcam in the presentation. And sometimes people really want to do that. So you do have that option. Now let's just imagine that we wanted to record ourselves doing this PowerPoint slide. So we come up to the top here, roll over, we click and we start to record. So record on this computer. And now I'm recording blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to click on come up again to the top, come over and I'm going to stop recording. That is finished. That is going to be Zoom Zero. That's going to be the first recording that I've saved. Now, if I started another recording, so let's stop sharing and let's come back to, uh, let's exit full screen a minute, sorry, exit full screen. Let's minimize and now let's imagine that we're actually going to open up another PowerPoint slide because we actually want to do a second recording today. So I'm just going to quickly open up another recording. I've got one here. So we imagine this one and now I'm going to do a second recording. So again, I come back to Zoom, open it up. So you can do multiple recordings in one session. So I'm going to click open screen share now I've got a different PowerPoint to, to record I'm going to turn it on and again I'm now going to come up to the top and roll over click on more and click on record so I'm now recording another PowerPoint slide so same thing again bloody 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 blah do the recording once I finish recording up to the top and click on stop recording now I've got two recordings now when you close your zoom session and those videos start to compress, it will compress the first video and then it will compress the second video. When you go to open up your files, you're gonna have two recordings. It's probably gonna be zero, Zoom zero and Zoom, oh, so Zoom zero zero and Zoom zero one. Now actually I can check that in advance. So if I quickly just come out of this presentation and open up my files and jump down to my my documents and come down to zoom I can actually see that here I've got two videos ready to convert one's going to be zero one and one's going to be zero two obviously I'm not going to touch those when all of this is going to take place is when I close zoom so let's close the zoom session now so we click on end okay and click on 
end meeting for all straight away it's it starts to convert both of the videos and it only just takes a few seconds they were quite short videos and there they are they're all done and ready and now of course if i go to zoom they'll be open in my zoom documents so what i'm going to do in this last part is just go through a few things that might go wrong first of all i just want to repeat this because it's really important if you notice when you're in full screen well for, for, for you can't minimize zoom anyway so you always need to exit full screen and then click on here which does not go to full screen that maximizes now why am i saying that well because often you need if you've forgotten to open up your powerpoint slides you need to click here minimize zoom this is now zoom i'm just going to put it down there in the corner then of course you can jump off open up your powerpoint slide so i'm just going to jump off and open up a powerpoint slide and get it ready on the screen so that's one little tip number two if we come back into zoom so to to open up zoom again all you need to do is click here and that, and that will maximize make sure that when you're going to do your recording that you've got the right microphone connected so in my case i want to be using my blue yeti i also have a microphone from my webcam but that doesn't record as well so make sure that you've got the right uh, recorder or the right microphone connected if you are um, someone who's got say two or three microphones connected to your computer it's a really good tip now another tip when you click on share screen now obviously we're looking at recording a PowerPoint slide but you can record all sorts of things so you could be talking over a document or talking over some images it doesn't matter what you open on the screen if the thing that you're going to record has got audio in it for example let's say if you were recording yourself talking over a video then make sure that you click on that button because that will record the audio from the video as well as the audio from your voice okay really hope you like that video and if you did please like it please share it please comment on it and please come and join me on teachertrainingvideos.com loads and loads more free videos here especially all the stuff that we've got organized here across the top and of course on the front page you'll see all the latest videos if you want to follow my work if you want to keep up with the newsletter the videos the free online webinars that i run the online courses the blog posts then please just sign up to the newsletter and of course you can also join me on my youtube channel it's really popular now i think we're up to 30 odd thousand subscribers and thank you very much